So one of the most interesting parts of the Book of Marjorie Kemp, one of the most um, perhaps captivating parts of the story behind it is about its discovery. And the book actually wasn't known about from really the 16th century until the 19th century. And according to a kind of um, myth, which may or may not be true, a group of young people were playing ping pong in a country house in Derbyshire um, in the 1930s. And one of them stood on the ball and went to the cupboards to find another ball. And in the cupboards, they found some old books. And they got distracted and started looking at the books. And there happened to be a curator from the Victorian Albert Museum there at that time. He took the book down to London and there it was examined. And it turned out to be the book of Marjorie Kemp. This person realised this was a very distinctive and important medieval manuscript. And so really, um, this was not a kind of classic of medieval literature until the late 20th century. So the book's only really been read widely and studied since the 1970s, partly because feminism, feminist criticism has rediscovered it and, and, is, and values Marjorie Kemp much more as a female voice. Um, but also partly because it was never like Chaucer or Piers Plowman or Sir in the Green Knight, any of these classics, it was never um, read from the Middle Ages to the 20th century. It's only had to be rediscovered in the 20th century.